today we're on location in deepest London and it's absolutely fantastic and I mean fantastic. It's a convention centre. From the assiduous autograph hunter to the creative cosplayer, all kinds of fans flock here regularly to feed, commune and potentially find a mate. And with San Diego Comic Con a week away, we're on a mission to explore the range of Doctor Who fans that migrate here. So don your brainy specs, grab a jammy dodger, because it's Fan Watch. One of the key species we're here to observe is the autograph hunter. We've been tracking one specimen over the past few days and I think we can go to a shot of them live right now. Wow, you can really tell right away that this is a mature autograph hunter from that bulging folder of six inch glossies he's carrying there and the waterproof jacket for those cold red carpet signings. What a stunner. Absolutely. And you can see that all important sharpie ready for action along with those telltale inky fingers. Now let's go to the stalls where I think we've got a clear line of sight to the great merch collector. These fans own everything twice. Their nests are lined with pure merchandise from Tom Baker underpants to an arsenal of sonic screwdrivers. They usually refer to their nests as being like their very own TARDIS and we've caught this one right in the act of splurge purchasing. And is that an exclusive Doctor Who World Tour 2014 mm. t-shirt I see there? The distinctive markings of a great collector. Lovely. This really is a beautiful example and you can see he's just brought two copies of a Doctor Who comic. One to read and one to keep freshly ironed I imagine. Now our viewers have also been busy snapping away and we've been sent some gorgeous shots of a very prevalent fan type, the common cosplayer. Cosplay fans are best distinguished by their homemade plumage crafted from foraged cardboard or a loaned wetsuit. This breed can be recognised from up to 20 metres away by the distinct scent of poster paints and PVA glue. This flock, caught on film in Brazil by Letitia, is fantastic, featuring two Romanas, both Taurin and Alzarian variants, a Cheetah Planet Master and a classic Fourth Doctor. Lovely! Paul has sent us this snap of a very noble draconian. Stunning stuff. And an S. Moffat of Cardiff has sent us this, a 12th Doctor in his natural habitat. Season 9-tastic. Sorry to disturb, but if we cut to our fan watch camera live right now, I believe we can catch a glimpse of the crested completist. I mean, this species has watched all two weeks, two days, one hour, 44 minutes and 43 seconds of televised Doctor mm. Who so far. They can be very hard to spot in a crowd, but if you look at that, you can see the immediate furrowing of the brow, which shows they're already calculating if those numbers are correct and whether or not we've included Sharda and the mini episode series Pond Life. Ah, now, what's that in the background moving behind him? Ah, that is the bewildered best friend. They exist in a symbiotic relationship with almost any type of fan. In exchange for a mutually beneficial friendship or a familial relationship, the BBF must attend conventions in tow with the fan and feign interest in the subject matter. Yes, these guys are discernible by the constant look of shock on their face, armfuls of their friends' things, insistence on calling the lead character Doctor Who, and mentioning Peter Cushing. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Lovely. That's about all we've got time for on Fan Watch. Don't forget to check out our favourite clips in this week's YouTube Annotation Attack. And don't forget to send us all of your cool stuff to dwthefanshow at bbc.com or tweet us at dwthefanshow. Tomorrow we'll be teaching you the difference between a cosplayer and an impersonator. It's all in the vocalisation. And I'll be out in the field trying to track down an elusive social media fan by following their selfies and spoilers directly back to the source. Bye! Bye.